This is going to be a quick video to show you how to fit the support fork to your drill before installing it on your power feeder. And then how to make sure that the switch that comes with your drill works well with your particular drill. So when you get your feeder, the support fork is going to be sized uh, slightly smaller than the smallest drill that I was able to test. I want to make sure that it's a, a snug fit for an, on a small drill. And so for most drills, you're going to have to enlarge it, typically by about a sixteenth of an inch on each side. And the easiest way to do that is on the band side. You just set the fence and, and rip it so that you take off a little material, or take off a little bit off each side and test it. You're shooting for a fit that's kind of an, an, easy, an easy fit but doesn't really have any slop. If you make it too wide, it's really not a big deal, and you can even shim it with tape if you like. But uh, you want it to, to go on easily, otherwise uh, you don't want to have to wrestle every time you put the drill on. Once you have the, uh, the fork fitting your drill, you remove the elevation mechanism by cranking it all the way up, and then just pulling it off. And then you take uh, your support fork, and of course it goes off towards towards the shaft, and you drop the bolts that were loosely attached. It's a lot of revolutions, but. You're going to thread it down. It loosely threads through the plate itself and through the plastic of the top piece. And then it will catch a, a small embedded nut towards the bottom. So it's a nice secure mount. And once you feel some resistance, you don't want to tuck it super tight. It's tight enough, it'll stay in place. It's actually Having a little bit of flex to this is, is useful. All the support fork is really doing is just kind of hold, keeping the drill from rotating. So actually, what you should do is put the first one in loosely before putting the second one in, just to make sure it engages correctly. There we go. There's there's a technique. I when I do this myself, I use a uh, a drill with a unusual wrench. So there we go. Now it's attached. And then you just simply put the elevation mechanism back on, and then with a wide the wide part of the plate goes to the two feed rollers, the shaft goes to the single feed roller, and engage it. And there we go. Your fork is attached. So for table saw use, you will slip it into table saw holder, and the steel pins engage. And then the Delrin bar, and there's, there's a, a set screw that will limit its travel, and that should be at the right spot for attaching the knobs. So on the off chance that it's not, you can move that set screw. But Putting the set screws on, and you're putting the knobs on rather, it's easy to do it two at a time on opposite sides. So there we go. Saw installed and table saw holder. And you can test, test the drill. Oh, so a few things about the drill first. Uh, when you're using the drill for a power feeder, you want to set the clutch to drill. You don't want any slipping of the clutch. And you set the speed 
dial to 1, the slower set of speeds. And what I'll, what I'll typically do is I'll open it all the way just by holding the chuck and switch and close it a little bit. And you just pop on the drill, hold the chuck, and slowly close it. This is actually better done when the uh, feeder is, is, is mounted on um, uh, whatever tool, tool you're going to be using. Um, I just wanted to show you the uh, drill settings. So then to, to take it off, you reverse the switch, hold the chuck, and as easy as that, take it off. But what I really want to talk about is the switch, the on-off speed regulation switch. And so this is, the, this, is the, this is the type of switch that will come with your power feeder. And this too has been made for uh, the smallest of the drills that I've tested. And to, to mount it, you hook around to the, hook around to the front and then uh, swivel. You want the length of the switch from there to there to be such that you can mount it and in, 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 in the position perfectly perpendicular can have an off position with, with the adjusting screw fully retracted. Then to turn it on, you simply tighten the bolt to engage the block. And the more you tighten it, the faster it will go. Now the key there really is to make sure that the distance is short enough that you can have a, a fully off position with it perpendicular. I actually, for this drill, I, I would prefer to have shortened that just a tiny bit. But what's more important really is the ability to turn it off. You should be able to turn it off by swiveling. And it should, by, uh, by virtue of this bevel in the block and this sort of deepened corner, it should be a position where it will be stable in the off position. And this works for the, the majority of the drills I've tested. There are some outliers. Uh, I know of one outlier, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are more. So this Porter Cable drill, uh, first of all, it's, 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 quite, it's quite a large dimension there, so I can't even... In the off position, it's still in, in a in a pretty high gear. So here I had to shorten the block substantially, which you're able to do easily on a sander. And so now this is short enough that I have an off position with it fully perpendicular. And then I can turn it on. Then what I had to do to give it an off position that worked is I had to deepen the corner. See, see them compared to each other. And that actually revealed some of the, the honeycomb of, of the uh, 3D printed plastic. So I, ideally, after getting this right, I would have filled that with uh, epoxy. But. Uh, that minor alteration allowed this drill, this switch router, to work really well with uh, this odd geometry. And out of about a dozen drills that I tested, I think this port cable is the only one that required that kind of modification. The other thing you might want to experiment is, if, uh, is softening the tip of that hook a little bit. You can do that with a chisel or sandpaper. Just to make it uh, actually both hooks 
to, to make it easier to put on and off.